relaxed, um, productive day for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let me let me let me clear this up for we could have a clear little conversation. So I want to talk about this, man. Um, football is my number one sport, right? And you know what I'm saying? I look at all the other sports like they're not as important to me as Bronco season, football season. Um, but I've been analyzing, um, when it comes to basketball, um, how sissified fan bases are, how a lot of the population when it comes to basketball is soft, bro. Um, I've been actually reading Twitter and people in the Twitter communities, man. And there's so many people that are pressed that the Nuggets made it to the finals, bro. To the point where they're literally crying about fouls and this and how the there's there was an article that came out about how the refs they messed up the last call against LeBron James. It's all just crying. It just didn't play into their hand how they wanted to rig the game for the Lakers, right? And after the game, there's a lot of fans that are crying about what teams are gonna be in the finals and you know what I'm saying? Um how the ratings are going to be down and out and below. And there's, there's actual fans really crying about, I'm not going to watch the finals because it's, it's this team and my team didn't make it like get over it. You know what I'm saying? You guys like, I, I, that's why football will always be my number one sport because of the simple fact is bro, regardless I'm going to watch the Super Bowl. I know many fans in the NFL community that's going to watch the Super Bowl. But when it comes to basketball, there's so many sissy-fied fans out there, bro. I've seen people actually crying about the Nuggets and how, you know what I'm saying, nobody was going to actually pick these dudes and nobody believed it. So now they're in the finals and nobody's going to watch the finals. Y'all are, y'all are seriously crybabies, bro. Um you know, um, I could never ever if if I had to take out the aspect of sports, bro, Broncos country will always be and football will always be my number one sport, homie. Um, you know, it's just it's just weird to me. Like you didn't have your way. Your team didn't do, you know, what it was supposed to do. That's not the Nuggets fault. You know what I'm saying? You got all these writers in the ESPN and the, the top media now coming out. Oh, the Nuggets are not, they're not really um a team that we really want to, uh, you know, cover. You're the media. You're supposed to cover NBA. You're not supposed to be choosing and biased against the teams that you pick. You just really thought, people really just thought the Lakers were going to actually win that game. And when it didn't come up and they got swept, now it's Nuggets are a boring team. They don't really have nothing to talk about. There's not nothing to talk about when it comes to this Nuggets team. That just sounds like baloney to me, bro. It just sounds like you honestly got your feelings hurt because the Lakers didn't make it to the finals. And now you're throwing a tantrum and you don't want to cover a team that's a Cinderella team that wasn't even supposed to be in the aspect that position because nobody gave them a chance. So now it's now it comes in. It's oh, I don't want to cover this team because there's no there's no stories. You know, you know what one of the media outlets has said? The Nuggets don't have enough um, controversy in the locker room to cover them like. That's kind of that's kind of weird to me, bro. Like it's an NBA. It's 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 pretty much a sports writer that's saying this. Um NFL will always be who gives a fuck about the views. People are tired of watching LeBron. That's what I'm saying, my homie. Um, always in the finals, so I'm glad. Teams, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, and and I just look at it. It's just, it's it's funny because it's just a lot of fools that got their little panties in a bunch. A lot of fools, you know, they wanted to see the Lakers. A lot of fools want to see Boston. Now, Boston, my, Miami might actually choke on the, the, the lead in the series. You know what I'm saying? Um, NFL will always be number one. We have two MVP on our team. How's that? That's what I'm saying, uh, Kobe. Like these fools just, they don't want to give credit while it's due. You know what I'm saying? You have all these fools having to eat their words and they don't feel like they have to. But the Nuggets, honestly, they're playing ball. They're doing what they have to do. They're doing what they had to have to do. They're not doing what you want them to do. They're doing what they had to do. They're winning games. They're getting to the finals now. And 
it's just funny how people are crying about it. Oh, I don't want to watch it now because the ratings who are the nuggets. We don't watch them like, homie, get your panties out of a bunch. Get your panties out that bunch. Yafu sissy fight, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why NFL will always be my number one sport because regardless who's in the Super Bowl, NFL fans, they're going to tune in and watch the games. They're not going to throw this pity party because their team's not in. We're going to watch it because we want to watch some good football. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's bogus to me. Um, facts, let them know what it is, Sev. You know what it is, Rada. Um, Kobe, some people don't like y'all because y'all probably, and that's, that's, that's what I'm saying is that should be in itself being a small market team, just crushed a, a gigantic franchise that got multiple rings that got money. And we, we, we went and swept them. That should be noticeable to talk about in the first place. That's, that's worthy to talk about a Cinderella team, like the nuggets that ain't never did anything in their franchise ever. And they're in the finals. They swept a mega team. Come on, bro. What up, uh, USMC Sniper? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's funny to me, though, bro, like, because when it comes to the market of the Broncos, uh, the, the sports regardless, um, I know why the Broncos get hated on. You know what I'm saying? I know why the Broncos get hated on. They're they're playing below average. They're not playing up to standards. But when you got a team like the Nuggets that are playing way above that succeeded expectations that got to the finals that wasn't even supposed to be there because nobody took them seriously i don't understand why they're getting hated on i don't understand how you can hate on that they're literally making you eat your words and you're still hating like if that ain't bias in the nba i don't know what it is i don't know what to say you know what i'm saying um basketball solid sport same with baseball but since there's so many games i and that's that's another thing is too, bro. I, I'm I'm a type of person that got to watch every game, and I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna sit down and watch every single basketball game, every single baseball, and not even every single um, hockey game. You know what I'm saying? But I will watch every football game, every Bronco game that I can get on TV. That's just how it is. I'm not gonna miss a thing in the NFL. My days on Sundays consist of me watching football. It's been a tradition in my family forever. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I just, I just kind of find it funny how people are crying, bro. How these sissy la la fools, bro, they're, they're showing their emotions because the nuggets made it to the finals. Like congratulate homie. Don't hate congratulate. Cause you guys are busters for crying, bro. Everybody crying about, you know what I'm saying? Um, there was so many because I I'm here now. There was there was a foul at the end of the game, and that would have took away the Nuggets win. Like you're just trying to take away the win when they put in all that work. You're just trying to throw a blind eye to what they did. You're just trying to not um, put it in realistic act realistic activities that we swept them dudes. You're trying to take that away from Nuggets fans that's been watching the Nuggets forever because there's been fans that lifelong fans like the homie who ride lifelong fan he deserves that shit you guys shouldn't be able to uh piss on his parade because you don't you don't think it's it's a big enough team to be in the finals bro they did their work they paid their dues to be there they had to play hard they had to go on the road and play hard they had to get in that in that position to get in the finals bro you can't take that away from them come on man this is our first final appearance and they can't let it enjoy us yeah like for real that's just that's kind of trash, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why the NBA, that's why look at the NFL and the ratings of the NFL to the NBA, bro. You know what I'm saying? NFL will always be number one sport out there. You know what I'm saying? The NBA is kind of just a lot of politics. People this and that cry over this and that. Who's the, who, who's, who's really the MVP and who's not And this like, man, man, slow down. Like who cares? Um, the NFL season is so short, it goes by quick, so we got to enjoy it well. It's, uh, yeah, it's not like basketball season, my homie. Like, basketball season is like every single day they're playing a game. Um, I'm glad y'all did it. You know, and and I'm not even a Nuggets fan, but still congratulate Vance. I mean, you have to, man. You can't deny that. You can't just throw blind eye. People People love to throw a blind eye just because they get their feelings hurt, man. You know what I'm saying? Um I'm, you know, I'm just glad that, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that was another thing is too, is, you know, people trying to take away from the aspect of the nuggets because of the simple fact is, bro, it's not, it's not, you know, there's not a lot of eyes on, on the nuggets during the season because of the simple fact is a smaller market. 
You know what I'm saying? But they paid their dues to get there, man. And I got to congratulate all the way. I'm not going to say I'm the biggest uh, Nuggets sports fan out there, but I do support the, the home team, bro. I have to. Like, that's what it is. I have to support my home team. And I'm glad y'all did it, Kobe. But that's all I wanted to say, really, bro, is, you know, um, you guys got to get over it, man. A lot of a lot of fools got to get over it, man. Y'all y'all showing your emotions and how sad you are because the Nuggets are in the finals. Wow, you are really gonna be sad if when the Nuggets win this championship, man. Um, I heard Laker fans celebrate. <laughs> that's that's another thing, Kobe. Um, I heard Laker fans celebrating moral victories because all games, like, man. I mean, every game they were up pretty much. In a lot of them games, they were up, and they let the Nuggets come back on them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's not a good look because you kept it close. Like, you guys should have won. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Nuggets took care of business. That's all I got to say. The Nuggets took care of business. There's no reason to cry. You know what I'm saying? F your ratings. F ESPN, ESPN and the main media. You know what I'm saying? Y'all is lame, bro. Um, you guys are there just to cause controversy. You know what I'm saying? That's all. That's why, that's why, like, I'm glad, Sean, I'm glad my boy Sean Payton, Hall of Fame Sean Payton, is shutting down the media. You're not getting in that locker room over here in Broncos country. You're not gonna, you're not gonna go out there and tell rumors about Broncos country. You know what I'm saying? That's a Hall of Fame coach. Like, he putting discipline in, bro. That's what it is. Like, you know, um, and and that's that's a good aspect to see, man. Like the coach over there putting in work, you know, and I'm so excited about. What's taking place with Broncos country, man? Um, I've been reading great things, like just the whole aura, man. Like I've been seeing, you know, the aspect about Russell Wilson. Did you see how Seahawks did a Russell Wilson people? They gave his number away. Another thing to disrespect the the, the OG. Um, it's time. It's time for him to put it in work, man. It's time for him to make everybody shut up. And that's what's gonna happen, bro. Is that a lot of people counting homie out? Um, a lot of people counting homie out, but Russell Wilson, look, he looking slimmer, man. He looking like he's more focused in football, you know, and it's going to be an exciting football season, bro, for Broncos country. Like, I'm not I'm not going to predict anything. I'm going to let them boys play what they play. But there's there's a change. There's a change. There's a culture change. There's no more of this aspect. We There's no more of this aspect. The higher ups don't even know what they're doing. We have Sean Payton running the troops. We got Sean Payton running the troops. We got a Hall of Fame coach running the troops. I even asked, uh, I seen a Kansas City Chief fan in my gym, and, you know, he was like, he respects Sean Payton, and he was saying, yeah, man, that's that's the Broncos might be a team to be, you know, reckoned with because they got Sean Payton leading the troops. You know, it, when you hear the press conferences, it's not this giddy old little fanboy. It's, it's a real coach telling you what it is. Um, I couldn't agree more. On the champagne topic, Javante Williams, like, let's go, man. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? That gets you excited. You got that workhorse back there, man. We just got to, you know what I'm saying? We definitely got to get him going, be, be in training camp and see what the always, man. And hey, Ash, yeah, football will always be king, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, I, I find it there's a lot of crybabies right now, seeing a lot of basketball fans. No disrespect to the real basketball fans, but. There's been so many cry so much crying that the, the Nuggets are in the finals. People are trying to take away from the Nuggets and what they did. You know what I'm saying? You got people saying, I'm not watching it because the Nuggets are a boring team. Like, man, they just don't want to give credit. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But um, yeah, so that's that's what I gotta say, man. That's all I wanted to really say, man. I hope everybody's having a good Friday. You know, uh, I'm about to do some tutoring and stuff. I got to get this little education. Got to get this this stuff on paper. But, you know, um, there's a lot of stuff going on with the squad, man. I've been reading a lot of things with uh, Broncos country, and there's a lot of stuff going on, man, that's that's a beautiful sound to the ear, you know. Um, and, and the thing about it is, bro, is like when you look at the aspect, man, the main things for Russell Wilson to be successful – Sean Payton's kind of building that foundation. An offensive line that's powerful. And he's putting discipline back into the team, man. There was no discipline in our squad like the last four or five years. It was just fools that are, were trying to learn how to be a head coach. We don't got somebody trying to learn. We got actual a head coach. We got somebody that knows how to, 
you know, build foundations with a football team and take people to the next level. A guru when it comes to helping a, a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Um, We're going to win the championship. Let's go, Kobe. Let's do it. Only thing I hope for is Javante better not end up like Corliss Sutton. Sudden body language and tangibles haven't been. There. Yeah, it's 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 very hard to bounce back from that. But uh, I think I think honestly, man, they they the way that they're building it, bro, they're gonna take every precaution to not get oh boy hurt. Football's physical, you know. Um, but I think I think just the people that are gonna get the Broncos ready health wise, I think we're we got we're in top notch hands, man. We're in top notch hands, you know. Um, and that was, that was a lot of Broncos country situation, the injury bug, you know, it was the injury bug that was killing Broncos country, you know, every, every week was left and right injuries, you know, so we eliminate that aspect, man. We got a, a solid foundation up front and that's just only, that's basically only going to be, you know, the, the blueprint to actually start winning games and put it into motion. I'm giving the Broncos double digit wins this year. You know, I'm giving – I looked at the schedule, bro. I feel like there was a lot of games even last year that we could have won and we just shot ourselves in the foot. That stuff right there is going to be an aspect that's going to be eliminated because Sean Payne will have them boys disciplined. There's no more getting to the red zone and fumbling 62 times when you can put up touchdowns. There's no more of that. You know what I'm saying? So um, I like Perna. He will be good. Yeah, he's a good solid pickup too. You know, um, even Vaughn Miller was better than ever after he tore. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Brighter days, man. All my Bronco brother and sisters, man. You know, we gonna keep we gonna keep the aspect lit, man. And uh, you know, I'm gonna do a lot of uh this year, man. I've been doing a lot of basketball. I'm definitely I got a lot of lives going on, bro. I'm gonna be a lot at the football games, turning up. I'm going to Vegas for the road trips. Um, I'm ready, you know what I'm saying? Like basketball season, this basketball season for the Nugs is just getting getting me more the atmosphere around me more ready for football season man i love i love the city of denver being live i love being able to talk good sports with the with the, my fellow natives out here in denver you know what i'm saying go to the gym everybody's talking nuggets you know everybody at the gym talking football and what this and that like that that gets me up that's what i like about football fans and the fans you know um <clears throat> i like the confidence i've been on record saying um if we healthy 10 and 7 or 11 and 6 is a real realistic possibility man honestly i feel that too you know i feel i feel we can take it to the next level man and get back to competing for you know playoffs and get back competing for what's important in football you know what i'm saying um get back to them days where we're competing for titles again bro in football you know um that's what i've known my whole life i've known you know, get into that aspect of competing for titles. You know, even when the Broncos were down in the mid, in the early 2000s, we were still, you know, in contention for playoffs, man. We were still doing our thing. We had a drop off between like the color, the Kyle Orton era and, you know what I'm saying, even the Jake Color era. But they were still, they still had a regime to be able to take us to the next level. And, um, you know, we've always seen us compete for wild cards and playoffs and Super Bowl titles. And this year, these last little years, all my homies on here that still represent blue and orange and we still want, we still represent. It's been this has been the worst aspect a team could, you know what I'm saying, fall to. And we've seen rock bottom. Now it's time for Broncos country to go back up, you know, and that all started with getting them them proper higher ups to conduct traffic for us, you know. Um, and that's where it starts. Denver Nuggets will win the championship this year. You know what it is, Jordan. What's good with you, man? <clears throat> but yeah, it's a. Uh, you know, we got a lot of. Uh, I like the new. I like. I like what I'm hearing from the rookie aspect. I like what I'm hearing from the defensive rookie aspect. Sanders and you know what I'm saying. Uh, oh boy, on that cornerback situation. You know, I like what I'm hearing from the young rook wide receiver man. How you know. Having Russell Wilson, some of them dudes, you know, they're looking at Russell Wilson like a superstar, man. Even during our down years, like the Jay Cutler era, the Broncos still had a foundation and building through the trenches. Yeah, we've always known. We've always been that aspect, brother. Always. You know, um, recall. Recall since you was a little little youngster, man. You know, um, 
since I was a youngster, bro, I've been watching the Broncos build, you know, solid foundations for the team to give us to give us an aspect to actually compete for what we want. And that's that that's that meaningful football at the end of the season. Um, Drew Sanders going to be lit. Drew Sanders going to be lit. You know, that defense, man, I, I'm, I'm I'm real, real eager to see the defense, bro. You know, and the new additions, man, like I can't wait. You know, I can't wait till uh, football season. <clears throat> the whole line looking better than last year. Ben Powers and Mike Glinchy hopefully work out. I think they will, bro. I honestly think they will. I think I think they're gonna have the boys ready on in the trenches on that O line, bro. You know, um I think it's gonna be an ad it's it, it can't get no worse, bro. It can't get no worse than what we you know what we've been going through for the last couple years, bro. It can't get no worse. All we can all we can do from here, because we hit rock bottom. How can you go down more? There's no, you know, when you're when you're giving up eight sacks, almost eight sacks a game, bro, and pressures constantly, like how can you go down from that, man? You know, Sean Payton, this is why this is why I love the action of Sean Payton, man. Is he got in the building and he bring in offense alignment. Let's see what we're gonna do. Let's try to make this work. Let's try to get some big boys on that that front end. And see how how it goes from there. You know, he didn't wait till later down the road and try to patch up, you know, band-aids and try to use this dude and this say this. Nah, he said, we going to go out there and get some protection. That's what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you know a coach, he wants to win. Another thing to keep in perspective, my people, Sean Payne has a legacy, bro. He has a legacy of being a guru. You think he's going to come and jeopardize over here with the Broncos country and turn into a coach that can't win. He definitely, he ain't going for that. Sean Payne ain't going to allow that. Sean Payne, he's too much of a guru to allow that. So he's going to, he's trying, he's going to try to build a foundation of winning, bro. You know, and that, that makes me excited. Honestly, if we develop the utilize Drew Sanders correctly, then I think, I think he could become the best inside linebacker. Um, we've, a man to that. He's a hog, bro. The way he closes in the space, Sanders, the way he closes in the space reminds me of a Trevathan. Reminds me of a Mobley. I don't remember if you guys even remember John Mobley. Reminds me of them dudes, bro. He closes. I was watching some highlights, bro, and he closes in the, he closes in the space. As soon as whoever gets the ball, he's closing up on a fast. 5.2 seconds. He knows how to really read the field. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, He's the type. He's the type of linebacker that could give uh, uh, Kelsey a little trouble in a game. You know what I'm saying? Physical play with them tight ends, man. Come on, let's go. Um, I love Joel. Uh, Josie is gonna after this year's man. I like him, bro. I hope he can come in and just get his money. But man, I, like, there's been a couple times he's he just got injured, and you know, I want to see him. Live up to that potential that we know he can be. Imagine them dudes being on the same roster and them dudes being the aspect of the linebackers, bro. Oh, murderers, headhunters, and lock spitters. You know what I'm saying? Um, where my wrench? I want to beat the Raiders and Chiefs Valley. Hey, I'll, I'll be giving out wrenches here soon, homie, but it's going to be on my time, bro, on Steam StreamYard. I, I can't even give no wrenches out on this. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to beat the Raiders and she's badly. We can't be having losing streaks. You know, um, yeah, bro, that's that's that aspect starts number that aspect starts week one, my bro. Week one, we smashing on the Raiders. We have to. You know, that's where it all starts from, you know. Um, and that's that's where we have to go. Like, you gotta start off with the division. Let's eat. You know what I'm saying? Um, we need some, yeah, we need someone to give Kelsey we do big body man you know um big body bro LA original why them lake why is the Laker media so upset and they're all crying about you know Denver slapping up the Lakers like they gotta they gotta let it go bro we brought back Alec yeah he's a nice little aspect too it's all into a new contract so I could see him and Drew Sanders being our starting linebackers in the 
for a future. Yeah, definitely. I want to see I want to see a, a duel, bro. I want to see a duel. Let them fools come out, you know, um let them fools come out beasting and eating, bro. You know, um and and it'd be it'd be good, be a good aspect for the defense, man. We got to win the week 1. I'll be at, I I think I'm going to that game, Jess. Honestly, I think I'm going to pull up to the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um I know I'm going to Vegas. I'm I'm going to pick up my tickets here soon in Vegas, definitely. Um you know, we uh we like I said, we have we're we're winning I could see us winning double digit wins this year, bro. Like there's no more below below five hundred. You know, there's no below five hundred. You know, um and one big reason is just because when you get a Sean Payton type character as a coach, you get you get a Super Bowl winning coach, you know what I'm saying? A Hall of Fame coach, you know? Um and to have the aspect for him to be able to work with the talent that the Broncos actually have, <laughs> you know, that's, that's such a formula for winning, you know, that's a formula for winning, bro. You can't, you know, you can't, um, you can't deny that. Not even smart fans can deny that. Now haters are always going to hate. There's always going to be, you know, haters that cry about it. Don't want to see it. But when it, when it, when it pokes his head out the water, you know, you can't stop it. Um, our season starts with facing the Raiders and it ends with the Raider. Yeah, we're gonna knock out them Raider boys. Let's go. You know, Raider boys, we going we we toast them, man. And I'm paying the I'm paying the Las Vegas area with that orange. Boy. Right. We gotta be above five friends just come and see him. That's good, man. You know, that's 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 an excellent aspect, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just stay humble. All I could give you is advice. Just stay humble, bro. You know, you'll never have to you know, be failed. You know what I'm saying? Again, just stay humble. Just know, you know, humbleness gets you a lot of places, man. Um, but yeah, man, I uh I'm definitely, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna soak it up, man, you know, for the city of Denver. A bit a beautiful aspect aspect for this finals. Like I told you, I'll be at the home open. Let, let's go. Let's go, uh, USMC sniper. I'm there. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta come home, defend the home turf. You know, um, I'm already in training camp as a fan. I'm in training camp to go to the first game. You know, I'm, I'm at the gym, ready to, you know, what I'm saying, get the tailgate cracking already, bro. I'm a jinx. What up, what up, awesomeness? How you doing, Ma? High salute, sis. Um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta just relax. You gotta just relax, Alley Original, because. You know, you just got to relax, chill out, man. Stop giving yourself headaches, man. You know, you was a, you my boy, bro. But I really, I really, really care about your, your well-being, bro. I really care about your health, my brother. I don't want you to ever have an aneurysm over sports. But messing with the Chargers, bro, you might have an aneurysm with the sports, you know. Um, and that's what it is, man. But, yeah, we... We start off with them Raider boys, man. Start off with them Raider boys. What, what y'all up to, man? Y'all, uh, everybody like everybody like what they're doing with their squads, bro. I see uh Prime over here. I I heard the Cowboys doing a couple things. You know, uh, we'll see what's going on with them. But it is what it is, man. I'ma tap out. Go Nuggets finals. We weighing up, man. Is Boston coming back in that series, bro? Is Boston coming back in that series? It looks like Boston might take it from Miami when everybody was so for sure Miami was gonna sweep these dudes, bro. And I'm like, dang, I'm like, these these Boston boys are not going away. They are not going away, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Wild stuff. All right, Riders, I'm outie. I'm all high salute. I'll talk to y'all.